we begin again, with fresh eyes and open hearts. I believe the commander has found the strength he needs. So too must we marshal ourselves for the task ahead, for there is more at stake here. As time progresses... Eris, what happens to her if we succeed? That is unclear. I'm sorry. My love is still afraid to let me go. The Traveler called you all from your grave to be broken over and over again. An endless sacrifice. But that is not my purpose. Let me rest. Strange. At the underbelly, the console is transformation. It has begun to elicit a constant subsonic frequency. Is Kallus doing this to the ship? Through the pyramid, yes. It is breaking the Leviathan bones to reset them elsewhere. So he is not so different from your god. From the god of our son's murderers. The Traveler is not my god. It is said broken bones heal stronger than before, but this is a lie. They are forever broken. Was I going to get the greatest to reset you under the Traveler's watch? Am I the weakness you carry forever? The lockdown is lifted. Prepare yourself for whatever we've unleashed. Exactly as he was, I try. I see his face too. A unique and true. Fear and pain I cannot stop. Then nothing. And I am alone. Forgive me. This 
frequency you isolated. It's almost like a voice, muddled in the dissonant churn between Pyramid and Leviathan. It's resonating through Phantom and Nightmare alike, manipulating their psychic connection to the darkness. It must end. We can remember why we lived our life without hating why we lost it. I hate my son's murderers. The god they followed. That it has taken you too. That's not fair. Live with your decisions. That and duty are all you have to hold close. I'll set this amplifier, Guardian, and meet you ahead. Amplifiers broadcasting. Isolation complete. Now there's only the severance. Zavala is ready, Guardian. See to your side of things, and we will prevail. I've reached the site, preparing the harvester. This mission won't bring you the peace you desire. Your devotion to the Traveler rewards you only with war and death. Never peace. I'm not doing this for the Traveler. I'm doing it for you. Your hands are pressed against a wound to staunch bleeding. It spills through your fingers. You are soaked in it. I knew when to let go. When to wash the blood from my hands. Do you? How many pawns has the Traveler sacrificed to conscript Amanda Zavala into its service? When it leaves you too, will you become like the Fallen? Guardians stand for more than the Traveler. We make our own feet.
wish I could step back into that life. Or that you could step into mine. What would I do with this broken man you've become? You teach me to heal again. We'd watch our scars fade together. Safi? I... There's so much. The years have made apologies lose their meaning. But... I am sorry. You can only apologize for something that is your fault. Hakim wouldn't want to see you mourn. He'd want his father to be proud of his courage. As I am proud of yours. Hakim should know his father feels nothing but pride. That's why I trusted him to protect you. You've given me a lot to consider. About where I put my faith. Analyzing the whims of a silent god? You'll mold those thoughts over into dust. There's not always an answer. Let go and rest. Yesterday I was too tired to rest. Today, Safi, Hakim, I'll find you in my dreams. I'm glad it was you standing with me. Zavala should be commended. It is not easy to forgive one's own regrets. Another red fray between Illidan and Leviathan Guardian. And yet I feel the next will test us most of all. When I first saw Sophia return as a nightmare, I was afraid. I didn't want her to reveal what I'd done. I did everything I could to save Hakim. I can accept that now. But back then... Guilt, like gravity, warps our perception of what is real. His death carved out a place in me. And everyone I lose under my command only compounds that feeling. Sophia knew that. She understood that losing him only pushed me further toward being a guardian. She knew that I couldn't stand by and watch the world burn. Because in her own way, neither could she. After everything we faced aboard the Leviathan, I'm left to wonder, have I made the right choices? I don't regret all the good the city has done, or that I was a part of it. But what it took to get here, what it's taken to keep it... Our minds weren't meant for this many years. Like so many other things, we have a word for eternity, without the capacity to comprehend what it actually means. When is enough? Enough. Maybe it's time to let go. It is done. Another of Callus's connections to the Lunar Pyramid is severed. We are poised to strike the final blow. And yet, I find myself unable to enjoy this success. It has come too easily. Only one connection remains to the Lunar Pyramid, and Callus has barely reacted. There is a piece of his agenda that we cannot yet see. I know it. To be this close and still feel as though it is but a barrage is... Infuriating. I will find the answer to our final severance. For now, continue.
continue your exploration of the Leviathan, any piece of information, no matter how small, could change everything. Hey, Commander. How are you holding up? I've been better. Sounds like you have too. Yeah. Pretty tore up inside. Any little thing sets me off. Might have said some hurtful stuff to somebody who didn't deserve it. We've all been at our worst. When we're hurt, when we're afraid, we all fall apart. Feels like I'm held together by duct tape and spit lately. The last few weeks have opened up some old, old wounds. Reminded me of important people I've lost. My wife. My son. Yeah. Yeah. I know that kind of hurt. Other way around, though. I still think about my folks. But I, uh... I can't really remember their voices anymore. I can't remember Hakeem's voice either. I try. I try so hard. You wanna tell me about him? Your wife? Someday. Not today. Not yet. Want some company down in your office anyway? We don't have to talk. Maybe we just sit. I'd like that. Ain't nothing. It's what family does.